Everything you do in GCP is done with APIs. This topic introduces APIs and discusses how they're used. Let's be precise about what an Application Programming Interface, or API, is. A software service's implementation can be complex and changeable. If other software services had to be explicitly coded at that level of detail in order to use that surface, the result would be brittle and error-prone. So instead, application developers structure the software they write so that it presents a clean, well-defined interface that abstracts away needless detail. And then they document that interface. That's an application programming interface. The underlying implementation can change, as long as the interface doesn't. And other pieces of software that use the API don't have to know or care. The services that make up GCP offer APIs so that code you write can control them. These APIs, which can be enabled through the GCP console, are what's called RESTful. In other words, they follow the representation state transfer paradigm. In a broad sense, that means that your code can use Google services in much the same way that web browsers talk to web servers. The APIs identify resources in GCP with URLs. Your code can pass information to the APIs using JSON, which is a very popular way of passing textual information over the web. And there's an open system, OAuth2, for user login and access control. GCP APIs also assist in helping you to control your spend with most including daily quotas and limits. Where needed, quotas and rates can be raised by request. In addition to the Cloud SDK, you will also use client libraries that enable you to easily create and manage resources. GCP client libraries exposes APIs for two main purposes. App APIs provide access to services and they're optimized for supported language such as Node.js and Python. Admin APIs offer functionality for resource management. For example, you can use admin APIs if you want to build your own automated tools. The different application managed service options will be discussed in more detail later in the course. The GCP console includes a tool called the APIs Explorer that helps you learn about the APIs interactively. It lets you see what APIs are available and in what versions. These APIs expect parameters, and documentation on them is built in. You can try the APIs interactively, even with user authentication. Suppose you've explored an API, and you're ready to build an application that uses it. Do you have to start coding from scratch? No. Google provides client libraries to take a lot of the drudgery out of the task of calling GCP from your code. In this example, the compute.instances.list method from the Compute Engine API will be tested. Items listed in red are required inputs. When the method is run, you will have to log in using OAuth 2.0. Since REST APIs are HTTP based, if the method runs correctly, you will receive a 200 message and the appropriate data will be displayed. If the project or the zone were entered incorrectly, you will get a 400 error, and no data will be displayed.